everybody, welcome to the show, What The Hey, I am your host, and let's get to it. So the question for today's video um, is What The Hey's Color Theory, and I got the answer to do this because I did a little poll on my Instagram, and it was between like something and color theory, and color theory won. Um, and the idea behind color theory kind of seems simple, like it's just colors. But the more like in depth you go, you realize that there's actually some like methods and stuff to it. Um, in my wonderful book of knowledge, I have stuff that I gathered from a website and I'll, well it's Wikipedia, uh, but I'll put that down there so if you wanna do some more research yourself, you can. Um, so the initial idea or more in depth idea for color theory was made in 1810 by Johann Wolfgang, which is a really cool name, von Geothe, it's G-O-E-T-H-E. -E. Um, he made this idea in his book called The Theory of Colors, which in his book he also kind of introduced the idea of the color wheel, which I have some papers that I've done from my high school art class that'll help kind of like illustrate some things that I'll describe later in this video. Um, anyways, color theory and its like utmost definition slash presentation is basically the idea of color variations and mixing options because if you don't have like the initial information like base of how to mix colors and what to do with them, your colors may not turn out right. Um, so that's what I'm going to explain later in the video um, with some vocab and stuff. Uh, but yes, I did these this horrible looking color wheel in my art class um, and then I have some vocab which I'll explain in a second about what they are and what they mean and such. Um, so this is literally the color wheel and basically what it is, it's like a base color um, and then it's the different variations like hues and tones of it which I'll explain later too. Shade is basically a base color and then with that it's the color black so it makes the color kind of look darker and I'll be putting pictures up so y'all can exactly see what I'm talking about. So it's like this and then you go down and it's just darker. Um, next one is the word tone and it's your first base color with the color gray um, and then there's a picture for that. Um, the word tint uh, means it's the first base color that you have with white. Um, primary colors, so you probably learned this when you're in like elementary school, but the primary colors are yellow, let's see, yellow, red, and blue. And I think they're called the primary colors because they're the colors that you can get and mix with everything basically. So for example, for mixing, you take yellow and red, you get orange. So you take these primary colors and they can make every other color. So that's why they're like your go-to colors. Um, the word hue is basically just a word for the word color. It, there's not much to it just besides that it describes color. Um, so now we go into like the different types of like color combinations that you can have. So the first like in-depth like color kind of vocabulary word is the one called split complementary. And that's basically where you take two colors directly across from each other. So let's say like green. So you go down to green to the opposite of or the opposite of it and then you do the two colors beside that color that's exactly across from it, which is kind of weird, but that's what it is. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, the next one we have is complementary, which is a simpler version of split complementary, which is basically just two colors across from each other. So that one's not too difficult or hard to explain like at all. It's just the two colors across from each other. Um, let's see. I don't know how to say this. It's a really word word, really hard to pronounce word, but it's like analogous. Um, it's the base color and colors beside it. Let me make sure I have that right. Yeah. So it's like, let's say orange, and then you do like three or four colors that are directly beside it. So it kind of looks like the same color, but just different variations of it basically. Um, next one is double split complementary, which is two sets of complementary colors. So it's the two, like two colors across from each other, but then you do like two sets of it kind of thing. Um, after that, we have, these are just kind of colors, but they're described by what they look like. So the first one is warm colors, which is basically like your red, oranges, and yellows things so that just kind of look like the color of the sun. Just 
just kind of warm and nice and inviting colors. Um, and then the next one would be your cool colors, which are kind of like your greens, blues, and violets or purples. Um, they just kind of kind of cold. I don't know, but that's what the word is for it. Um, so cool colors. Finally, our last like kind of needed word is uh, monochromatic, which is basically all variations of a base color. So for example, like yellow, you get yellow, and then a lighter yellow, white and yellow, um, then you get your gray and yellow, and then your black and yellow. So it's all those variations of colors, which is kind of what the uh, color wheel is. It's literally your base color and then the added white, gray, or black colors. So that's what monochromatic is. So basically, that's everything that you kind of need to know, like a base level of what color theory is. Um, there's not much to it besides just knowing what to put with what and what goes where and how it all looks and stuff for presentation reasons, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I have another intense, very interesting question from one of my uh, friends that I met over at a trip. And the special question reads as this, what exactly is a jumping bean and why do they jump? So for all these questions that I do, I don't do any like research on them kind of thing. Um, so I just kind of think about it and give my answer. So a jumping bean, the only thing that I could really come up for it would be the fact that like possibly spicy, so you know like, jumping because it's hot and it's in your mouth and you're like, ah. I'm gonna look it up. But according to Wikipedia, Mexican jumping beans are seed pods that have been inhabited by the larva of a small moth and are native to Mexico. The bean is usually tan to brown in color. It jumps when heated because the larva spasms in an attempt to roll the seed to a cooler environment. To avoid dehydration and consequent death. So, according to our good friend Wikipedia, jumping beans jump because they get hot and there's a gross worm thing in it and it doesn't want to die. Fantastic. So, that's the video. It was shorter today because honestly the color theory thing isn't very hard to understand. Um, but yeah, that's all that you basically need to know. All the vocab and stuff. And, as always, thank you for watching. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah.